today class we're going to be going over uh, the T accounts. <clears throat> so we've talked about the accounting equation all, already, assets equal liabilities plus equity, and the T accounts keep track, help us to keep track of the balances within different accounts. So today we're going to be going over this again in detail. Now remember, if you're still struggling with what an asset is, what liabilities are, equity, and equity is made up of capital, withdrawals, revenue and expenses. If you're still struggling with these concepts, with these type of accounts, you need to go back to the other um, videos. The accounting equation video would be a good one to go to and just refresh yourself on these things because really you're going to struggle here and throughout the videos if you don't have a good grasp of this information. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, assets. You know assets are cash, accounts receivable, supplies, um, automobiles, buildings, land, all these things are assets. Well, each asset will have its own account. And in this case, its own T account. So I'm going to put down the most popular T account, which would be, the most popular one would be cash. Okay? So this is a T account, it looks like a T, and that's where it gets its name. Now, the left side of the T account is the debit side. So I'm going to write this in, debit. And the right side is credit. And that's what it means. Debit means to the left, credit means to the right. As simple as that. I know this is going to be kind of confusing because students often think of this backwards. All right? Students often think that an asset would increase with a credit. That is not correct. Okay? You just need to memorize. You need to know that an asset increases with a debit and it decreases with a credit. That's how all asset accounts work. Okay? All Typical asset accounts work this way. There's things called contra assets that we'll talk about later, but right now we're looking at just pure asset accounts. They increase with debits, they decrease with credits. Okay? Now let's look at the other side of the accounting equation. The first item on the other side is the liability. I'm going to use an example of notes payable. Okay, notes payable is typically just a loan from a bank. You write a note, uh, you owe the bank money, okay? Now, I'm gonna put debit here and credit because it always stays the same. Debit is to the left, that's the definition of the word debit, credit is to the right, okay? Now, the difference is we're on the other side of the equation. So, if debits increase over here, then on this side of the equation, it's gonna increase with a credit and notes payable or any liability will decrease with the debit. Okay, so let's look at a quick example. Let's say we borrow $100 from the bank. We borrow $100 from the bank. So what happens now is cash goes up because we, the business, we're getting $100. So we would put $100 debit. All right, now we're, we also have a loan. We owe money back. That's the definition of a liability. We owe money back to the bank. So we have to increase our liability. So we'd increase it with a credit. So there's the increase. So now you can see that every transaction, your debits must equal your credits. Every single transaction, your debits and credits must be equal. So here we have a $100 debit, a $100 credit, Looks like we're in balance, and we are. So now we can go on to our next transactions, okay? But just remember, assets increase with debits, liabilities increase with credits. Now, let's go over here and take a look at our equity accounts. These are a little bit different in that we've got withdrawals and expenses, which will be a little bit different. Now, let's look at capital and revenue first. Equities on this side, and equity increases when we, when we add capital to the business or when we have revenue. That would increase our equity, okay? So, now I'm gonna abbreviate here because I don't have a lot of room, but the abbreviation for debit is DR, kind of different, but that's what it is, and the abbreviation for credit is CR. So, once again, debits are always on the left, credits are always on the right. So let me write all of these in credits on the right, okay? Now, capital and revenue are kind of typical equity accounts. 
they increase this side of the equation, they increase equity, so they will increase with a credit. They increase with a credit. Okay? So they decrease with debits. Now, withdrawals and expenses are a little bit different. Okay? These accounts decrease our equity. They decrease our equity. So what happens then is a debit will increase these accounts. The debit increases. What does that debit have an overall effect of doing? Well, it will decrease our overall equity because a debit on this side of the equation decreases accounts. So what happens here is this, overall, it will increase these accounts, but the overall effect will be a decrease to equity. I know that's confusing, all right? So remember, in accounting, you got, this is kind of repetition. You gotta really think it through. I can say these things, but if you're not really applying them and trying to understand them, you're not gonna get this stuff, all right? So make sure you've got this now. <laughs> Withdrawals and expenses increase with debits, okay? And capital and revenue increase with credits, all right? So. <clears throat> now, let's go over a couple more things. Um, let's say, I, I just want to be able to expl explain how uh, balances take place in accounts. Let's say our, our cash account has this $100 debit, but it also has a credit in there of $20. Okay? Because we're going to have lots of transactions going through these T accounts. All right? So if we've got this going on, what is the overall balance in the account? Well, that's not too difficult, right? I hope not. What you're going to do is you're going to subtract these two numbers, and you'll get 80. Whatever side is the highest, that's the side that gets the balance, all right? So in this case, we'll put a line under there. That just means we're totaling this up, and that the new balance in there is $80, because we subtracted the 20 from the 100. The 100 was larger, so our overall balance now is an $80 debit balance, okay? And all of the accounts will work that same way if you're trying to figure out their balances. You're going to add up all their debits add up all the credits, then subtract those two together, whichever side is the larger, it's the debit or credit side, that's the overall balance that account will have. Okay? Now remember, at the beginning of the video, I also said that every single asset will have its own T account. So if we have supplies, it will have its own T account. If we have accounts receivable, it will have its own T account and we'll track its balance. Okay? So, this is the video on T accounts. We're going into, we went into uh, detail on what debits and credits are on the T accounts, how they have to balance. Make sure you spend the time that you need to on this. If you're still struggling, like I said, with what are assets, what are liabilities, what's equity, then you need to go back to the accounting equation videos in the previous videos. Now, several students um, have been asking me, what textbook are we using? Well, I've been using Fundamental Accounting Principles by Weil, um, but you know any textbook you, you can use, all right? That's just the textbook that I've been using for this class. Um, and any edition probably will work because there's not significant changes between editions, all right? Well, good luck with accounting. Uh, work hard, make sure you spend the time going through this. You may need to watch this video more than one time to refresh and make sure you understand these concepts, all right? Good luck with accounting.